Hi there, I'm Black Bright. This is the <coughs> lighter side of Black Bright. And um, yes, it's Love Island again. And what a drama tonight. Ooh, I have to say, I had my stomach in my heart, or my heart in my stomach, whatever way they call it. I mean, it was absolutely incredible. And the drama and the hype. <laughs> And the thing is, the boys were all giving it away when the, the men hadn't been loyal. It was a bit was funny. Anyway, let's start from the very beginning. For those of you who have just um, first time passing on, passing through on my channel, um, welcome. Um, I tend to do a lot of serious stuff, but when Love Island comes on, I'm hooked to Love Island. So I, I think people get to see another side of me, a more lighter side than when I'm doing all my um, social and um, political stuff, putting it simple. Well, Love Island is an island where people go and find love and people are coupled up. They don't know anyone, so they choose on the first day. They end up in bed the first day, um, not necessarily, not intimately, but they get to grow, they get to know each other. And so um, during um, the eight weeks, I think it is, eight to ten weeks, they are tested in various forms. And tonight they were being tested whether or not they wanted to stick with their original partners or whether they wanted to couple up with um, someone from Casa Amor. So that is you up to date. So tonight we had the dynamics of them getting to know each other better. We saw Callum um, getting on much, much more tactile with Molly than he's ever been with Shauna and we had Shauna there moping around saying she can't wait to see Callum and yeah Shauna had it bad really bad for Callum so and now of course we had to see who was bringing over well we knew who was bringing over someone else and who was waiting for their original so that all made it very exciting so let me see what I've written down here don't you just love it and so okay um, the greatest risk has the greatest reward that is what one of the islanders said and I think that was referring to Callum and Molly because um, for those of you who hadn't seen Shauna and Callum Shauna was just such a little, you know, she was always seeking reassurance. She was very insecure. And I can imagine how she must have felt when Molly came in. I mean, all her insecurities would be laid bare. Tomorrow, I don't know if she's going to stay, if she's going to leave the villa. I don't know if she's going to cry. I don't know if she's going to scream. But we'll soon find out. So then we have Luke, Emma, Natalia, very good match. When they were sitting down and talking and she was saying, oh, we've got to take it slow. I thought she wasn't interested in Luke, M. But when he brought her over to the villa, it seemed as though there was a genuine interest. And I hope there was because I like Luke, M. Then, um, normally when you see guys in those short jeans and trainers and the top, they don't look so cool. But Luke T and Luke M in those little black trousers, man, Psst. they look cool. It really, really suits them. I think they just carry it well. I think some of, I think some of those guys, they can't carry it, but those two can definitely carry it. Um, and he's talking about entoriated, bless his little heart, when he meant oriented. That is Luke M when he was talking to Natalia. So I hope those two hit it off. Um, and she, yeah, let me see what else. I kind of like um, Biggs when he had those glasses on, but you know, Jess, she likes her men big and black, so she's gone for Ched. And yeah, I hope he's sincere. I mean, she had she was having a good old dig at Mike when she said, "Oh, at least I can trust him." I don't know how you can know if you can trust somebody in a bloody couple of days. How can you know if you can trust somebody and you know that they're not going to let you down and you know that you know where you stand with them? How can you know? I mean, she was saying that about Mike to um, well, not really, but more or less veering to that with Luke M. So I don't know. I think she's. 
I don't think she has a clue, to be honest. So, but we'll we'll see. But for me, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't. I don't see it. I. She's a very intelligent girl. I'm not saying Ched isn't. I mean, we don't see enough of them interacting. But, you know, they don't seem that compatible. But like I said, they edit out a lot. They only show us what we, what they want us to see. So, um, oh yeah, when the boys were saying to Jordan, oh, you're cruising, man, you're cruising. Like what I said, they've all got a plan to just get into the villa whatever way they do it they do it so they come over as really nice and sweet and endearing they know what the women want and they cruise in but there has to be somebody who wants them it just so happens that um over the last couple of days those guys have come into the villa with people that they really like so they're not swayed by those guys and to be honest the only one who looked for me, out of the ones that I left, who looked half decent was George. But did you notice how George is always sitting up all night looking into the midair? What's that about? Is he thinking, oh, well, I've got to go back to um, wherever I came from. I can't stay in South Africa. Very bizarre. And they just, you know, that's two nights straight now I've seen him looking in midair in the middle of the night. Very weird. Uh, what else was there? <laughs> got my little notes um priscilla priscilla is wifey material that's a bit premature but like i said they don't show us but how can you say someone's wifey material in three bloody days i bet you any amount of money well i'm not going to bet you any amount of money but i bet mike is an aries because aries they fall in love very quickly and they you know they're all in and I should, I should have bloody checked it, really, to see if he was an Aries. Because I can't see how he comes to those conclusions so quickly. But, like I said, we don't get to see all the conversations. He's happy with her, that's the main thing. And sometimes she looks really, really beautiful. Other times, you know, depending on how the camera catches her, you know, she looks like a bit not so happy. So, um, but I want... Well, I don't know, because you know when um, when Luke T and Shanice got together, did you see the way Mike looked? That's why sometimes I can't help wondering if he is game playing, whether he wants to be the best couple. I, I don't know. I can't tell. I really can't tell. But there was almost like there was a slight little bit of envy between Luke T the actual genuineness of the relationship. And that's what I said, those two, Luke T and Paige and Finn, psh, those two are going to be running neck to neck. I think Paige and, and Finn might just nip it, but they're going to be running neck to neck, those two. I think they really are genuine couples. Um, Nez, Naz might come behind with... Um, either but it's too it's too early days to see how that's going um and you just can't fake chemistry i mean look at the difference with callum and molly i mean he's touching her he's got all his hands all over her he can't stop looking at her he can't stop thinking about her i mean what difference and that's what i mean why would he waste his time with bloody shauna who's so insecure and needs so much reassurance but it is going to damn, it's, it's not good for her though. It really isn't good for her, that outcome. Because she really needed somebody to, um, but you can't rescue people. That's the problem. If people haven't got the confidence to, to um, believe in themselves, you can't do anything about it. Because if you spend the rest of your life trying to re reassure somebody, it's just, you're just using up your energy. And it's, and it's not worth it. You don't want to have to keep reassuring somebody that you want them. You know, you reach a point where you say, bloody hell, mate, enough's enough. I can't be bothered. I'm not going to be reassuring you every bloody five minutes. And that's what it's like with Shauna and Callum. That is what he had to do. Um, 
What else? Shauna skinning her teeth when Mike came in with Priscilla. Yeah, what was all that about? Why was she skinning her teeth? She wasn't skinning her teeth for long though, was she? When Mike came in with Priscilla. It was almost like she was gloating. And I don't even know why Jess was mad. Because Jess was bloody cavorting with Ched and Biggs. So what's her, what's wrong with that? And what was what was all that about? About she didn't trust him and she knew this and all those little snappy, snappy digs. What's all that about? Was she sitting there waiting for him? No, she won't. She was going to pick Ched even, even if Mike had come in on his own. I bet you she weren't going to wait for Mike. But who knows? Maybe she might have done. I doubt it. I, don't, I didn't hear her mention Mike once, really, apart from saying, oh, he's going to get it on with someone else. And OK, your prediction was true. So why are you mad if you knew that's what he was going to do? Uh, what else is there? Um, Luke T, that's my boy. You see the way he came in. Oh, I mean, it's so nice when you see that, though. It's so nice. And Shanice, you know, sticking by him. I love that. I love genuine, sincere feelings. You know, I just love that. So, yeah, um, he didn't let me down. Who else? All the boys. Oh, yeah. Didn't they give it away, though? You know, it's when um, they knew that the guys were going to come in with a different woman. How they all put their head down or lent on the woman that they were with. I mean, if I was a woman standing up there and I looked at the guys doing that, I would know that something weren't right. And Shauna... And um, who was the other one? Demi. They, they're just kind of looking at who's coming out at the top and looking at themselves instead of looking at the guys, which would have told them whether or not to choose someone else. Because if Demi had looked at the guys, she could have chosen one of those other guys, you know, one of the guys in the villa, because they gave it away. And the same with Shauna, with Shauna. Oh, I don't think she would have gone off with one of the other guys anyway. I'm not even sure if any other. Well, I think George liked her, but I don't think he liked her enough. But George was quite nice. He seemed to show some genuine interest in her. I don't even know if they get a second chance to pick any of the guys. I don't think they do. So what else is there? Oh, yeah, it must be difficult for someone like Nats to go with your heart. I mean... You're in a different villa. You connect with someone. You know that you connected with someone elsewhere. And then you kind, but the connection isn't as strong. And you've left someone who you feel you had a connection with and they think vice versa. Then you meet somebody who you do have a connection with and you literally have to bring that person you've got a better connection with in front of the person who you thought you had a connection with before you went to the villa. I mean, your connection has to be bloody strong. And Nez was so respectful with regard to Demi, but her face and Shauna's face, if looks could kill. I'd be very interested to know She's going to probably call Callum aside and start effing and blinding and doing all sorts. And then that's going to convince him that he made the right decision. She's not, I don't doubt very much if she's going to behave like a lady and take it on the chin. I doubt it very much. She's either going to start bawling or, oh, I don't even want to see it. I'll be going like this. Uh, what else is there? Um... Yeah, I thought Paige and Finn, that was lovely, you know, and you can tell all the tears and they're so relieved that each other was waiting. It's funny, though, because when you have a gut feeling about somebody, you do know. I think you know. And yeah, but the thing is, the outs with Sean and Callum, she had it all in her head. Shauna, it was all in her head. It wasn't what she felt, because if she was going by what she felt, her gut instinct... She would know that she, um, Callum wasn't reciprocating. She would also know that she had to tell Callum to do anything to show any affection. So she would know that that wasn't sincere.
but I, she, I think she was too much in her head and not enough with her heart. Because, you see, with Paige and Finn, they knew they had a connection. Um, Shanice and Luke T, they could tell they had a connection. And I think Naz and um, Eva, they may have a connection. I think they seem to have one. And Eva, what a nice girl. Did you see what she said to um, Demi about we'll have a talk and she must feel, she empathised with her. She's a nice girl, Eva. Yeah, those are the kind of girls that you want. You don't want these competitive bitchy girls in the, in the villa. And what else? Um, yeah, we'll have to just wait and see what happens tomorrow, please. That's all for now. Black Bright with you. Love Island. Until. Have a good night. Bye-bye.